Imagine being able to power your camera, laptop, lights, and other camera equipment with a single long-lasting battery. That's the magic of a V-mount battery. In this video, I'll explain why you might need a V-mount battery in your camera kit and how this small rig battery is different from the other ones on the market. Full disclosure, this is my first time even touching a V-mount battery, so I'm completely new to it, but this is something that I've been wanting to add to my camera kit for a long time because of the sheer amount of products that it can power. As a professional photographer and videographer, I have a lot of gear that needs external power, from my camera to my external lights to my video video monitor to name a few. And while I can plug a lot of these products into a wall, I like the freedom of being able to shoot far away from a wall outlet. And unfortunately, many of them have specialized ports and they need more power than traditional power banks. So I can't exactly use those. I'll give you one example. When I'm shooting here in the studio, I use a dummy battery to power my camera. It plugs directly into the wall, so I never have to worry about having a charged spare battery. And this is great, unless I want to shoot somewhere that's not next to a wall outlet. And this is where a V-mount battery would help solve this problem. V-mount batteries like this small rig unit do have a USB-A and USB-C port, so you can use them to charge your phone, gimbal, drone, camera, etc. You can also quick charge this battery via USB-C, which I understand is pretty rare because other V-mount batteries typically need their own dedicated chargers but it also has two DC barrels, one 8 volt and one 12 volt. And there's also a DTAP connector on the side of the unit. Now, if you haven't heard of any of these connectors, they're commonly used to charge laptops, monitors, LED lights, and dummy batteries. And the last part of this battery that gives it its name is the V-shaped connector on the back. It's pretty specialized, so if you're like me and you've never really used one before, you might have to order a mounting accessory. But this small rig unit is unique because it also has mounting holes on the back, so you can get other cheaper accessories to help mount it, or you can even use something like a tripod plate and stick it on a ball head if you want to. And these are things that you might just have lying around, so you may not even have to buy extra accessories for it. But personally, I prefer to mount it to my tripod or my lighting stand legs, so then I can plug in my dummy battery, external light, video monitor and laptop, which are the main things that I use whenever I'm filming here in the studio, and they all need some extra power. Now compared to the little power banks that you might use to power your phone, V-mount batteries typically have a higher capacity and extra ports and connectors. And so they're a little bit more prosumer oriented rather than consumer oriented. But traditional V-mount batteries are also pretty big. And that's why the small rig mini V-mount battery impresses me so much. There are two versions of it a 50 watt hour unit and a 99 watt hour unit, and both are 30% smaller than traditional V-mount batteries. I have the 99 watt hour version, which weighs 550 grams. And while it is a little chunky and not exactly pocket sized, it's still pretty compact considering what it can do. And the 50 watt hour version is even more compact. Now the other nice thing about this battery is that it has an OLED display screen. And when you press the power button, it shows you how much battery you have. But when you have a device connected, it also shows you all of the current connections plus all of the voltages going across them. And yes, you can power multiple devices with this battery. It goes for 279 US dollars for the VB99 version or 179 US dollars for the VB50 version. So if you're new to V-mount batteries like me, hopefully this sheds some light onto what they are and why you might need them. And even though they are kind of aimed at professionals, so much pro gear like video monitors, lights, cameras, I mean truly the whole camera rig, is now being made for consumers these days. So I actually think that they're great for any type of electronics user out there, especially since they can also power phones and laptops as well. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you're interested in getting a battery like this or if you have another solution that you like to use, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, I do a lot of reviews about compact camera gear and accessories for filming on the go. So check out my playlist below if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.